Just finished West Ham nil, Fulham two. Absolutely damaging result for West Ham. There's no getting around it. That is one that's um, pretty much put a well a, a substantial dent in our uh, aspirations now for European football next season. Um, I've, I've said so many times about how this being a must-win game. I said it in the preview. Um, that there's a handful of games that we must win. That was one of them. Crystal Palace is the next one. Luton. Um, that defeat, like um, the Newcastle loss, it just feels like it's a hammer blow to our aspirations this season. It really is. That is a, that is horrendous. And I've got to say, I thought we started really well. I thought we started the game really well. We were really on the front foot. We. Fulham looked all over the place. We had we had a handful of chances straight away at the beginning of the game. Uh, Mikel Antonio was guilty of missing an absolute sitter in my eyes. I think he should he just doesn't compose himself enough. We've seen it enough times with Antonio, great player, uh, certain things he does, but composed himself in front of the goal was just not one of them. Uh, Paquetta also missed um, a volley, or sort of half volley, um, and we were made to pay the price. It was very much the case of it was against Tottenham. Their first attack, they go and score. But it was early, you know, it gives you the feeling of, well, look, yeah, we're 1-0 down, but we can go on and get back into this. We've got enough time to get back in this game. But we, we, we never really got going again. We never really looked like we were going to score. Um, the credit to Fulham, I've got to say, I thought they defended well and their game, game plan worked to a T. But we look exhausted. This team, it, it's, I'm going to talk about it in a video tomorrow, um, got absolutely... Um, no depth in this squad whatsoever and it's costing us you can just see from the players you can see how tired they were after about half an hour you can just see how tired these players are looking um you know i, I appreciate we've just played in europe but it's the fact we've got no depth we can't rotate we're relying on the same players over and over again um we've got an injury to mavropanos in the game as well he had to got, he got replaced by zuma um I, I was actually pleased with the lineup I, sort of danny ing's coming in he played sort of behind antonio in a more deeper role they were sort of rotating quite a fair bit between uh, antonio and paquetta and ings they were sort of maneuvering around quite a fair bit in the first half um at half time although we were one nil down i've got to be honest I, I was quite confident we'd come back into it i thought if we can just get that first goal we'll probably go on and win the game but it was just evident then in the second half how tired these players are. They're just they're lacking um, any energy. It's just, and as I say, it's just because they're being flogged week in, week out. Uh, that January transfer window is absolutely biting us. Um, and yeah, it was a really, really disappointing day overall. Um, we come away now with a, a, a damaging defeat. Uh, and we're now having to rely on beating a team like Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We're now relying on having to beat, say, a Liverpool London Stadium, and when you see um, results like that, you can just see that we're just we're just not going to be able to do it. We're, we're not going to be we're not capable of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bad one, a really tough one to take, and um, it's, it's hard to really now see West Ham qualifying for Europe next season. It really is with the, with the games we've got left. It, I just get that feeling like the the flames starting to burn out on this season. You know, it really is looking like we are now clutching at straws. I mean, are we going to be able to overturn Leverkusen at home on the basis of that performance? No, not a chance. Like, we're we really not. And as I say, when you look at the other fixtures coming up, um, of course, we've got Crystal Palace next away, but they've just beaten Liverpool. You know, whether that does us a favour or not, maybe it does, because maybe now they don't necessarily need to beat West Ham as much. That three points could pretty much guarantee them safety. I don't know. Um, but this is a, a tough one to take. Um, we'll do another video uh, tomorrow and talk about it in a bit more detail. But yeah, that is, that is a real damaging defeat for West Ham and one no doubt it's going to pile more pressure on David Moyes as expected it, it will do um, yeah it's hard now it's hard to actually um, picture us qualifying for Europe next season I, th I think it's going to take a bit of a miracle now we're going to need to say, go and get a shock result somewhere and on, on the basis of that game I just don't see it um, I was looking at that bench today as well and looking for make changes. David Moyes, to be fair to him, tried to make some changes. He took off Sue Fowl, put on Ben Johnson. He also took off Wal Prowse, put on Suchek. But that's not enough, you know what I mean? That's not enough to change the game. Um, whether we can get Jared Bowen back for this game uh, midweek against Leverkusen is a questionable one. I, I don't, at the moment, I don't know enough about it. I don't know whether that's going to be achievable. But we're missing him dearly, but it's not enough. It, it really isn't. West Ham are looking like a team now that are desperate need of a break. Um, and we're going to struggle to see out the end of this season by picking up enough points now, I think, to qualify for Europe. But, yeah, it's a bad one. Really bad day at the office. And, uh, yeah, not much else I can say about it, really, other than um, we now need to try and dust ourselves down and, and go again on Thursday. But, yeah, that, that's a really bad defeat. And as I, as I said before, that was a must-win game, and it's one we've now gone and lost. 
So dare I say, I'm starting to uh, lose hope that we're going to qualify for Europe next season.